What it is guys, my name is Chris along with Ali, Miguel, and Quinn from Period 3 and today we're going to be showing you about our stats experiment. Let's get started. What's up guys? So for our experiment we wanted to test a psychologist claim that taking a math test on yellow paper would enhance scores as opposed to taking it on white paper. So we administered two different but very similar 12 question tests with each version being on white paper and yellow paper. So for our test, we conducted a 95% confidence interval as well as a one sample match pairs t-test to assess the validity of the psychology claim. We used a null hypothesis that there would be no difference in mean test score, while our alternative hypothesis was that there would be a positive difference in test score. Here's Quinn with more on the setup of the experiment. So we used the match pairs test in this experiment on CCA students. And because it was an experiment, we could not use random selection, so we had to use random assignments. So we flipped a coin to determine whether students would get test versions one or two, or white or yellow. So we gave each subject 40 seconds to complete each test. We purposely made a time constraint so that people would not finish the test and that we had a normal distribution of data. We then tallied the scores and compared the data. So for the conditions, we satisfied our random condition by randomly assigning the order of the test that the subjects took and for the 10% condition, we performed this experiment on less than 10% of the students at CCA. And then for the normal and large sample, we made sure to test at least 30 students. Here's Miguel with our data. Here's our data. Now here's how we found our p-value and confidence interval. <laughs> so now we are trying to find the p-value by doing a one sample match pair t-test. First we get our mean difference by subtracting the average means for the yellow test and average means for the white test. Then we found our standard deviation to be 1.9070. We then found our standard error by doing standard deviation divided by square root of the number of people we tested and got 0.3482. Next we plug these values into a one sample t-test equation, which is our mean which we found earlier, minus mu, which is 0, divided by the standard error. We found t to be 0.3828. Then we plug this into tcdf with a lower bound of 0.3828, an upper bound of 10, and degrees of freedom, which is 30 minus 1, which equals 29. This gave us the p-value, which is... It's time for the moment you've been waiting for! Duh! P equals 0.3523. Because the p-value of 0.3523 is greater than alpha equals 0.05, we fail to reject our null hypothesis. This means that there is not enough convincing statistical evidence to state that yellow paper produces better test scores than white paper with math tests. Therefore, the psychology-based claim is incorrect according to our data. Even though we found a p-value, we wanted to gather more evidence for our experiment. Now, we are finding the confidence interval for our data. To do this, we use a t-interval equation, which is mean difference plus or minus t-star times the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. Next, we find our t-star value by finding our degrees of freedom to be 29, and since it's at a 95% confidence level, we get t-star to be 2.045. Our mean was 0.1333, and our standard error was 0.3482. Now, we plug all of these values into the t-interval equation, in order to get our confidence interval, which is negative 0.579, 
to 0.845. So when we saw this test online, we didn't actually think that the yellow paper would produce better scores than the white paper, but it turns out the average mean for the test scores on the yellow paper was 8.767, and the average for white paper was lower at an 8.633. Um, so even though the average for the yellow paper was higher, it wasn't statistically significant based on our, um, based on our test. Okay, so there are two different problems that we found with our experiment, and the first one was that we tested kids during a work period, and so it was kind of loud in the background, so that might have skewed the data and their test scores could have been better if it was in a, quiet, in a more quiet atmosphere. And the second thing was the claim online did not specify what kind of yellow paper it was supposed to be on, and so we just opted for the paler yellow paper because it's easier to find and we figured that that's the one that they were talking about. But it could have been with a bright yellow, maybe even neon yellow. So maybe next time we'll try out different types of yellow to see if there actually is a difference.